everyone! Welcome to ACM! Let's learn about block printing! Today, many of the clothes we wear and the fabrics we use are made in factories using machines. Aren't the patterns on these cloths beautiful? They were made by hand using a method called block printing. Block printing is one of the oldest stamping methods in the world. It was first used in India around 800 years ago and remains popular there today. India is one of the largest producers and exporters of block printed fabrics, using knowledge passed down in families over generations. In block printing, everything is done by hand. First, craftsmen carefully carve designs onto blocks of wood. Coloured dyes are applied to the blocks, which are then stamped repeatedly across fabric or paper, creating patterns. In India, many block printing patterns have been developed over the centuries. These include patterns with the jali, or net in Hindi, flower baskets and diamonds. Common motifs include elephants, peacocks and paisley. It takes incredible skill and effort to complete a single piece of cloth. Why do you think this method is still so popular today when machine-produced designs are available? Follow a textile artist in a simple step-by-step -step guide to see how Indian block printing is done today. Hello, I'm Sunena and I'm a textile artist based in Singapore. I studied block printing in India I will be showing you how to do your own block printing at home with a few simple materials and tools. Block printing is a creative and fun process. We use little wood blocks to form patterns. You can even use them to customize your jeans or t-shirts. You can create a variety of shapes and patterns with just one block. You will need to practice first so that you have an idea how the final look will be. Are you ready? Here's what you need. Any fabric such as cotton or an item of clothing, wood block, block printing dye or ink, paper, tailor's chalk, thin sponge to be used as stamping pad. The sponge can be reused after washing, plastic wrap, spoon, toothbrush, blanket or towel to use as padding, iron, gloves. The dye may stain other fabrics, so you can wear an apron or clothes that you don't mind being stained or put on gloves. Cover a tabletop with some padding. This could be an old towel, bed sheet or even a stack of newspapers. This will help to protect the wood block from damage during the printing process, as well as providing an even surface for printing. Wet the sponge with water and then squeeze the water out until the sponge is slightly damp. Place it on a sheet of plastic wrap to avoid staining the surface below. Apply a small amount of the dye to the sponge using a spoon. Smooth it out so it can be used like a stamp pad. The sponge should be covered with an area that is larger than the wood block you are using. Place the block facing down on the sponge. Press it down a few times, lightly, so that the dye covers the entire block. Practice using the block to print on a piece of paper. Press the block down firmly to get a clean print. Now let's print on your fabric. You can draw straight lines using a ruler and a chalk to guide you. Place the block on the fabric along the chalk line. Press down firmly and be careful not to shift the block. You can create patterns using one or multiple blocks. You can print with one color or with a few different colors like what I am demonstrating here. If your print is smudged, it could be because you have too much or too little dye on the sponge. The dye is not evenly spread out on the sponge. During printing, the fabric surface was not flat. 
the block was not pressed down hard enough. To use the same block with a different color, wash the block with plain water. You can use a toothbrush to clean out dye stuck in the grooves. Wipe the block dry before use. The dye on the fabric should dry quickly. You can iron it the next day to keep the color from running. Ask an adult to help you with this. To clean and better maintain it, wash it by hand with cold water. Machine washing works too. And there you have it, your own block printed fabric. That table runner looks stunning. Has it made you want to try your hand at block printing? Here are some Indian textiles from the ACM collection that were made using block printing. Look for them on your next visit to the museum. If you enjoyed the video and want to share your own block printer designs, tag us at ACM underscore SG and visit the museum to see more of these beautiful textiles.